everybody, Dr. Corey Singer here today to talk to you about vision correction exercises. So this is based upon a work by Dr. Bates and he's used this to help take care of a lot of different people and their vision, different vision problems that they're having. And it's based upon uh, a, a way to actually train your visual system and also to be able to re-engage re, uh, and balance out the different muscles that are attached to your eyeball so that they don't misshape in your eyeball. So let me show you what that actually means. So normally in vision, so there's different type of vision defects, but normal vision with a healthy eye, what ends up happening is you have an object right here that you see and it goes through the cornea and the lens and it's focused on this focal point back here on the, what's called the fovea centralis. So if it focuses properly, what ends up happening is you see the object clearly. Now, with astigmatism, what ends up happening is you have a misshapening of the actual lens and the, and the eyeball itself. When that happens, that same light that would normally be per, gone through and landed where it's supposed to on the fovea centralis, it ends up landing kind of off. It ends up landing on a place where it's where it's not uh, centralized or not focused right on that fovea centralis, and that creates a blurriness of the vision. In myopia or nearsightedness, that same type of misshapening of the lens ends up focusing the light in front of the fovea centralis. And so things that are further away, you really can't see properly. So that's called nearsightedness, or you can see things that are close. In contrast, hyperopia means farsightedness, as then you could see far objects. What ends up happening is that same light that would have came through actually ends up that light focuses behind where it's supposed to be landing on, on the fovea centralis. So that produces, uh, it make, makes it so you can't see things that are close up. You can see things that are far away. So what Dr. Bates says, well, if these are all most, most of the reasons that you're gonna have uh, vision problems, what you can do is you can retrain these muscles and the reason, so because he said, why are these, these eyeballs misshapen and, you, and he, his theory was that these muscles are pulling the eyeball in directions that they shouldn't be pulling in. In other words, it's the, the muscles are reshaping, are reshaping the eyeball and making it so they can't work properly. Um, so this is, and then he also talks about uh, different nutrition and toxicities that can affect the eyeball because different things can actually affect the eyeball as well uh, from a nutritional standpoint and obviously from a nervous system standpoint as well. But we're going to go over today specifically what kind of um, what kind of exercises that you can do to strengthen the eyeballs and and strengthen the visual system. So. To do that, I'm going to first talk to you about how to actually measure whether you even need to be doing these or not. And most likely you'll, you'll, need a, you'll know. So this right here is called a Snellen chart. So Snellen charts are pretty simple. They're, they're used to actually track how well your eyes are doing. So to actually read one of these things, what you're going to do is you go on here and you see you know, the different lines. You could have somebody help you with this, or you could just try to memorize what, you, what you've uh, said aloud, or you could write down your answers on a piece of paper while you're, while you're uh, measuring yourself, okay? So you're gonna need a Snellen chart. You can get these online, or um, uh, you could, some of them you could actually even print out. You could do ones like right in front of you, but I, I would prefer you do it um, a, a full printout, so get this online. You're gonna need a tape measure, okay? So you'll take this. What you wanna do is from the wall, you're gonna go 20 feet back. So you're gonna measure 20 feet back. And what you'll do is make sure that the area is well lit. You'll start by you'll start by covering one of your eyes. It doesn't matter which one you do. Generally speaking, you're gonna cover your weaker eye. That's just what most people do instinctively. But you just cover, cover one of your eyes and then you're gonna look and see where you could read. Okay, so you're gonna to go to the lowest line that you could easily read across. 
So let's say you go down to uh, right here, which would be 2020. So 2020 vision is down on this line right here. So you go through, you know, you, you read, uh, let's say you, you ended up reading this line here. Now, 20, what 2020 means is that at, tw at 20 feet away, you know, you could see this line here. Okay, normal, that's normal. Now, if you, if you can only read this top line here or above it, what that means is, let's say this says 2040. That means, let's say if you miss just one of those ones, that means that you're actually you know, 2050. But let's say that you could read all the way through and have no problems with that. But as soon as you go to the next line down, you miss one of them. If you miss one of them, that means you have a 2040. So that means that at 40 feet away, sorry, at 20 feet away, you could see what somebody that has normal vision can see at 40 feet. So that means you have you know, 20 feet off of what you should normally be able to see. So that's how you measure it. Now, you know, you'll start with your right eye or left eye, whatever, and then you'll cover your left eye or vice versa. And then um, you'll look with both eyes and see how you do it. I track your progress. So you'll do that the first day. And then you're going to go through these vision exercises and we'll probably just test yourself about once a week and see, you know, you're hopefully seeing improvements in, in your eyesight. So the next thing we're going to do is go over how to actually do the exercises. I'm going to take you uh, through this. This is, going to, this is something that you're going to have to do outside because um, that's outside is you're going to need it for one of the exercises so let me go over it with you okay so i will see you in the next part all right hello everybody dr Corey singer here today i'm going to talk to you about how to do a full vision correction exercise series i'm gonna i'm here at the park and it's a sunny day and we're going to walk you through each exercise to go through uh, you're going to need something to just track your time. You could just use like a stopwatch or uh, your phone, whatever you prefer. And we're gonna show you how uh, to do these exercises. So the first exercise you're gonna start to do is just simple deep breathing. Um, oh, and by the way, you're gonna need either a chair to sit down on or a yoga mat to lie down uh, on the floor. So starting with breathing, okay? So we're gonna start by just simply breathing in and out. So if you need to, you can place your hand on your stomach and that'll help you get, in, get into a really deep, nice deep breath. So you start with breathing. We're gonna do breathing for one minute. So starting off into the nose, out through the mouth. And you'll do this for, like I said, one minute. And you can just follow along with me. And this one you could do lying down as well. We're about 30 seconds in. And one more deep breath. Very good. All right, good job. So the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do one minute of repeated yawning. Yawning is really good. It forces blood up into the, um, the eyes and creates a relaxation effect on the nervous system. So we're just gonna do one minute, just repeated yawning. You might feel a little sleepy and that's a good, that's, that's nice. Okay, so let's, let's go ahead and get started. Just start a little, put your timer on and go. Good. And you could do, uh, you can stretch overhead. <sighs> Try to get some really good deep bear yawns there. I feel a little sleepy afterward. And 
one or two more. <sighs> Last one. <sighs> okay. All right, good. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do uh, a gentle massage or tapping around the eyes. This is again, just to draw blood flow into the eyes and stimulate those, stimulate the eyes in, in a good way there. And creates also a relaxing, a relaxing effect. So you can start your ta timer, one minute, okay? And here we go. So to massage, you could just simply kind of go in circles around the eyes and kind of whatever fashion you want, whatever feels comfortable for you. You can go left, you know, clockwise or counterclockwise. Either's fine. That's the that's the nice simple massage, and then you could also switch to tapping if you'd like to. Real simple, or you could do one or the other. I'm just showing you both, whatever you feel most comfortable with. It's really simple, just tapping around the eyes. We're about 30 seconds in now, and going back and forth if you want. Just stimulating and also stimulate some of the acupressure points of the eyes as well, which is good for them. And we're almost done, five more seconds. And all the while you wanna to continue to, deep, to breathe deeply. This, is, this, whole, this whole exercise should be very relaxing. Okay, okay so the next exercise that we gotta do is uh, we're gonna stretch out the neck and we're gonna go in all directions we're gonna go left to right, and then we're gonna do rotation as well, left to right, and then extension. So let's go ahead and get started. So you take your left, uh, take your left ear to the left shoulder, and then you're gonna hold, pull a little bit, and do four deep breaths here. Good, now let's go the other side. Good, now we're gonna do rotation. Take your hand, draw it down, take your left hand and Bring your neck over to across your left shoulder. Breathe four deep breaths. Beautiful, a nice stretch here. Three and four. Good. Let's go to the other side. One. three and four good last we're just gonna go straight up four deep breaths and last one we're gonna go straight down Take your hand behind your head and bring it forward. Four, good. All right, so the next exercise we're gonna do is arm clasp in front of you, arm circles. You could do this either seated or standing. So we're just, just to stick with the simplicity here, we're gonna go ahead and just do this um, while, we're, while we're seated here. And you're gonna do this exercise for about 30 seconds. So set your timer. And here we go. All the while you're gonna be doing some nice deep breathing. You're gonna to wanna to track your eyes, following your arms up and, up and down. about 30 seconds there. 
that's good. Okay, so now we're gonna do yogic eye exercises. And these are just to strengthen and relax certain muscles uh, that are in the eyes here. So we're gonna start, and we're gonna be breathing the entire time. So you could do this either sitting or laying down. So start by, you're just gonna breathe in and look up. So you're gonna look up and hold that for a couple seconds and then exhale looking down and then you're going to go to the middle close your eyes breathe two times now we're going to go from left to right so you're going to breathe in to the left and hold that two seconds and then you're going to exhale to the right hold that for two seconds back to the middle now we're going to do clockwise fashion. So you're going to go up and around. So you're going to start to the top. I'll breathe in. And exhale on the bottom part. So breathe in. Going around the top. And exhale down to the bottom. Now we're going to go back to the middle. Take two breaths. While closing the eyes. Now we're gonna go counterclockwise. So breathe, we're going up to the, from, from the right. So we're going clockwise fashion. Counterclockwise fashion. Go up. Good, back to the middle. Breathe for two seconds. And then we're gonna do that whole thing again. So starting, we're gonna go up, hold, Exhale down, and then we're gonna go, we'll go right to left here. You're gonna, your tendency is gonna be gonna want to try to move your head, try to keep your head straight, while just only moving your eyes. Now we're gonna do clockwise. Clockwise. Here we go. But what you'll find is there's certain points that when you try to go, like when you're going in a clockwise fashion, certain points are gonna be harder to kind of get to. So you wanna to try to get this as smooth as possible going in a circle without kind of like getting catch points. So those catch points are the areas that are, are, are weak and more you do this, those that should get, those should get stronger. And now we're gonna go counterclockwise. And that's it. All right, so the next exercise is gonna be palming. So palming is a really good technique, and the idea here is you wanna deprive your eyes of as much sun as possible, and that's gonna strengthen certain parts of your eyes which are needed to um, create good eyesight here. So what we're gonna do, you're gonna take your hands, place the bottom of your palm there on the eye socket here on the bottom, and then creating a little cup here and then putting the resting the rest of the eye or rest of the hand on to the top of your eyebrow and keeping your face relaxed you're going to do that on both sides and then you're going to want to actually try to make sure you get as much of uh, the, the light out of your areas as possible and then you could uh, you could do this either seated um, like I'm doing here, you could get some pillows underneath your, your hands to support you, or you could just rest your, rest your hands on your elbows, or on your knees, your elbows on your knees. Or you could do it lying down on your back with some pillows uh, on your chest like this. So I'm gonna do it with the seated position. So taking your hands, getting into that nice relaxed position, and you're gonna set a timer for two minutes. So here we go. And all the while, you're just kind of just going to be visualizing um, b darkness. And you're going to keep your eyes open during this. And again, you should see no light inside of your eyeballs there. So try to, if you're doing this right, you won't be able to see any light coming through. And you're going to want to. It's actually you're going to need to most likely, depending upon your face type, uh, kind of close the middle part to make sure no light's coming through. So you might, you might be uh, 
breathing out of your mouth on this exercise. And the whole while you're doing this, you're gonna be able to um, make sure you're uh, just breathing deeply throughout it. So you might, you're actually gonna be breathing through the mouth on this one. Just relaxing. Real simple. You shouldn't, you shouldn't feel a lot of pressure on your actual eyeballs themselves. They should feel pretty relaxed as far as your eyeballs go. Okay, there should be no pressure on them because you're forming that nice cup. Your hands should be kind of relaxed too. It shouldn't, be, shouldn't feel like you're squinching them too, too tightly either. You want to keep your eye again, keep your eyes open during this. And that was two minutes. Okay, so the next exercise we're gonna do is nose drawing with this infinity symbol here. So just take a piece of paper, write out a infinity sign on a piece of paper. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna hold this guy out in front of you. And with your nose, you're gonna be, you're gonna be tracing up and down along sign. So you're going to be kind of tracing your eyes all the way through working with it. So you're moving your head and going up and down tracing along the different lines. Just noticing the different lines of, uh, of the actual symbol here itself. Set a timer for two minutes and let's get that started. Try to brighten this up here hopefully. All right so here we go. Just going to trace around it, noticing all the different little points. Just drawing your eyes on the different parts of And this is really similar to the exercise that we're doing with the yoga eye stretches, where you're just kind of activating different aspects of your eye muscles. So this helps to strengthen certain muscles that are weaker and also can relax certain muscles that are over tight. Good, all the while you're gonna to continue to do the deep breathing. This whole thing should you should just remember to relax. And if you're getting tired with that hand, you could switch hands or use both. find yourself wanting to skip over certain parts of the infinity sign and that's probably where you want to try to focus in more. Find yourself trying to gloss over certain aspects that's probably where the muscles are a little weaker. So trace back onto it and that was about two minutes. Okay, so the next exercise we're gonna go ahead and do, let me just make sure we're still recording. Yep, okay. Okay, so the next exercise that we're gonna do is uh, standing cross crawl breathing. So it's real simple. All you're gonna do is stand up, you're gonna look straight ahead, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take, um, for this one, we're just gonna take our, let's say our left leg up while bringing our right hand in front to meet it. So real simple back and forth and while at the same time swinging your other arm behind you. So we're gonna do that for two minutes. 
Set your timers. And here we go. And you're just gonna be simply breathing. Should be nice and relaxing. Just looking straight ahead of you. Just activating different parts of the brain, connecting your left brain and your right brain. Obviously your brain is important for your eyesight. Try to relax the whole time. And your legs might get a little sore doing this exercise, so that's okay. Good for you. And if, let's say you could only bring your legs up to, well, not to 90 degrees, let's say you could just bring it up to 45 or 20, whatever. As long as you're doing this cross crawl movement of bringing one leg up and one arm back, that's all you need. Ten more seconds. So the next exercise that we're going to do is using that same cross crawl pattern, doing the arms swaying back and forth with your legs coming up side to side. You're going to do that while doing uh, that crazy eight pattern that we showed you with the infinity sign. Doing that in the, uh, in the air, just going back and forth. And just don't, not try to fixate on one spot, just kind of moving your head all the way around. Okay, so just let's go ahead and we're going to do this for two minutes. Start your timer, and here we go. So get the cross crawl pattern going first. And you might get a little balance issues with this but it is good to train and all the while you're gonna be doing deep breathing and it's gonna be a little tricky to do this exercise definitely at first but the more you do it and slow down with it, the better you'll get. I'm just noticing, yeah, you might you might lose your balance. That's okay. Back and forth. Yeah, it's probably one of the more challenging exercises that we're going to do. But keep your goal in mind better eyesight, improved vision. And that's it. All right, so the next exercise that we're gonna do is we're gonna be just simply taking your thumb up looking at your thumb and then you're going to be gazing past it to something kind of further away from you maybe like five or like, like three or four or five, five feet in front of you and then 
you're going to go ahead and shift past that and look at something even further behind it. So we want to, we want to have a nice open area to kind of look as far away as possible. And then you're going to be shifting your gaze back and stepping yourself back. And you can even play games with it. You can go, you know, all the way to the back, then all the way to the front, or you can go all the way to the back and then to the middle. So whatever, whatever you feel comfortable with. We're going to be doing this for two minutes and get started. So take your thumb, look at your thumb and make sure it's nice and clear. After you've done that, then you'll shift your gaze to something right behind it, maybe five, five feet away. So like if you have a tree or, you know, whatever, the dot over there, and just look at that. And then you're gonna shift your gaze beyond it. So looking past those two objects to the third object. So I see a tree back there I'm looking at. And I'm just gonna look at that. And then I'm actually gonna go even further than that another tree behind that and that's probably as far back as I can see oh, there's a little bit more there's one more thing I can see back there so but the green part of the of the tree and then I'll shift back to the one before that and then I'll step it back to the one before that and back to the side here and then back to my thumb. If your get, your arm gets tired, definitely just drop it down. And you can take your other, you can start doing it with the other hand. So good. So again, start start in the front. And then right now I'm going to just kind of kind of shift back and forth. I'm going to go from front to the third object, all the way to the back object, back to the front, back to the second, front, third, fourth back to the front, back to the middle, third, second, first, second, third, fifth, and just back and forth like that. And you can just play around with this however you feel comfortable. All right, and that's the timer. So the next exercise we're gonna do is using a uh, string with beads on it you can get this online and pretty simple you're going to take these beads you're going to place them every, about every six inches out in front of you okay you're going to attach the other side of the string in this case i have it attached to a, to a tree it doesn't really matter what you attach it to and then what you're going to do all you're going to do is you're going to place your eyes or you put, place the string up to your eyes and you're going to look at the first point and then you're going to go to the second point and then you're going to go to each point, just kind of going back and forth, very similar to what we were doing with, with your thumb, but this is for closer, closer vision, obviously. And we're gonna do this for two minutes, okay? So let's get started. So starting with, keeping it to your eyes, just relax. Looking at that first point, and I'm shifting to the second one. Hold that for about three or four seconds. It doesn't matter what the color of the string is. And if you're doing this properly, you should start to see a cross in front of or behind. So with the bead that you're looking at being the center of the cross. Obviously it's one string, but you should see you should end up seeing two strings with the bead that you want in the middle of it. And you're just gonna keep going back till you could till you're doing this all the way to the back. And the back one won't do the same thing, but there we go, just shifting back and forth. And keep going. Two minutes for this one. There we go. And just from going one to two to three to four to two to three to four and just kind of back and forth, just play around with this as much as you'd like. It doesn't really matter the order of how you're doing this. It just matters that you're training the visual system. Very good. It's kind of fun to play with this too. Try to see how fast you can move from one object to the next. Really training that, the body there, training the eyes. 
Man, that's two minutes. All right, everybody. So the next exercise that we're going to do is the swing, long sway from left to right. And you're going to be doing this one with eyes open first. So real simple, set your timer for two minutes. And all you'll do is start by just kind of taking your arm, taking your head, looking to the side of the left while swinging your arm and then just kind of naturally follow your body. And you're not really looking at anything in particular. You're just kind of going back and forth for two minutes. So just kind of noticing that, or your eyes just kind of noticing how the eye, the background is kind of swaying. Again, not looking at anything in particular. And eventually, the more you do this, the more it will kind of just be like your vision is, isn't kind of getting choppy. It's a very more, more of a smooth vision back and forth. Breathing the whole time. Nice and easy. slow or fast. And you can see my legs a little bit. They just kind of glide back and forth. two minutes all right so again just swaying back and forth but this time you're, you're gonna keep your eyes closed and I like to just kind of feel different points of light hitting my eyeballs as I'm doing this exercise keep breathing the whole time If you lose your balance, just try to pick it up. If you feel like you can't do this because of balance issues, then just skip it. Until you could do it comfortably. Almost done. All set. Okay, so the next exercise that we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to keep our put our thumb right in front of us, and all we're going to do is shift back and forth while maintaining vision on the eyes. And you're just going to be noticing the way that the background moves in in front of you, in behind your uh, thumb. Let's do this for two minutes. So thumb there, and just. Going back and forth. Just keep your eye on your thumb. But at the same time, you're gonna notice 
Everything like the background is moving behind it. This is a kind of fun one. And if you're getting tired with your thumb, you could always just, just shift, do the other thumb. Real simple. And again, maintaining the breathing as you're doing this. I think this is one of my favorite ones. <laughs> Just I like the way that the background looks as it moves while I'm staring at my thumb. And the thumb is stationary, obviously. Keep breathing. You can do this slowly or more fast. Doesn't matter, but more slow is probably better. You can look up a little higher when you do this. It's fine, just play around with it. You can do it lower. Doesn't matter where you're doing it. You can even move it around as you're doing this. Just training the system. It's very unique. And five more seconds here. There we go. So the next exercise that we're gonna be doing, and you can do this seated or standing, is sunning. It's the other reason that we're outside doing this action, these, these exercises. Sunning, what it's gonna be able to do, the, the opposite of palming, which where we're trying to get as dark as possible. Sunning is where we're gonna allow, allow as much light in as possible. And we're stimulating, obviously, a different set of uh, receptors in the back of your eyes here. So um, this exercise is best to do, you know, when the sun is about 45 degree angle in the sky so you know that's why you can look at a sunset and it, it's fine or you can look at a sunrise and it's very beautiful so that so you don't want it like directly overhead um and uh try to try to do a what, what a 45 degree angle or if it's like a partly cloudy day that's a good good time to do it as well so let's go ahead and do this we're going to do this for 30 seconds we're going to do it for eyes closed first and then we're going to do it um, with your eyes open secondly so the first thing we're gonna do, is we're gonna start, set your timer for 30 seconds. And here we go, 30 second timer. And we're gonna close your eyes. And just, you're gonna go back and forth with your eyes closed, with the sun hitting your face. Breathing the whole while. Do this for about 15 seconds here. Five, six breaths. And then after you've done that, you're gonna go ahead and take your hands in a cross pattern here. 30 seconds goes faster than I thought. So we'll restart that and we'll do it for another 30 seconds. So we're gonna take your hands like this and again, you're gonna keep your eyes closed for this one. And then you're just gonna be, with your eyes closed, you're gonna be with your, sun, with your uh, eyes towards the sun, you're just gonna be going in across like this. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So eyes closed, and you're just gonna be feeling the way that the light is hitting your face for those 30 seconds there. Again, just kind of breathing, feel the light coming through, hitting your eyeball, but obviously the eyelid, and then feeling, seeing how the darkness hits your eyeball at the same time as the shadows are crossing over the over the sun just like that very good 30 seconds good and there we are okay so the next thing we're going to do is stunning with our eyes open so to do this we're going to set a timer uh, well, first, we're just going to be breathing about five to ten seconds with your eyes open, feeling the light kind of come and hit. You're not going to be staring directly at the sun for this one, but you're just kind of keeping your eyes open, feeling the light hitting your eyes back and forth, five or six deep breaths. So you're kind of looking at it, kind of looking away. 
and then we're gonna set it for 30 seconds. We're gonna look up at the sun, and then you're gonna be doing that same thing, just like this. So you could let in as much light as possible, or not. You could you could let in very little light at a time. And 30 seconds is gonna go by pretty quickly. Keeping your eyes open. You want to do it. You could do it kind of rapidly. And that was it. 30 seconds. Now we're going to do palming again. So repeat. We're going to repeat palming for another two minutes. So seated down. Seated in a comfortable position. Two minutes on the timer here. And two minute timer begin. So again, eyes covered completely, resting comfortably for two minutes. Yeah, just breathing. Just noticing the, obviously the stark difference between your uh, Pal you're sunning and you're palming. Very different. About 20 more seconds. So that is all the different exercises for the full vision correction routine. Enjoy.